Hi, welcome to C programming tutorial. This tutorial is the part of a collection of tutorials. Uh, the link to the playlist of all the tutorials in this series is either on the screen or in the description. And if you uh, came to this video uh, through Facebook page, I would recommend that you become a fan of the uh, of the Facebook page or if you actually uh, are watching it on YouTube, please uh, subscribe to the to this video or to this channel so that you can be no notified of the new, new tutorials right away as soon as the tutorials are, are po posted. So let's get started. In today's tutorial uh, I will be talking about the switch statement. It's a pretty simple statement. I should have covered it earlier but you know I kind of forgot. So we will cover it now. You know it's still not too late. So it's pretty simple. You know it's just like if statement it's like having multiple if statements all together uh, that's that's what it is so like for anything else we always start with the with basically um, the syntax so what does the syntax of switch look like it basically has the keyword switch you know and followed by the by a variable here so that variable could be either int type or character type so any int or character variable and then the braces and then you write the cases okay what we do is we write case so case you know and then some constant colon followed by the statements okay again this could be just one statement or multiple statements and at the end you have a break this keyword break and followed by the next case and then colon remember this is colon this is not semicolon and then other sets of set of statements and then break and you continue with this thing for as long as you want you know like different case statements and finally you have what we call default and then there are statements for the default and you can put break if you want to and then braces close oh, here so this is how a switch statement looks like. It's kind of it, it, it's kind of scary looking, but it's it's very simple actually. So let's look at it. So all you have to do is basically write the switch and then some variable here, an integer variable or character variable, followed by multiple case statements, followed by a default. Now default is optional. You may or may not have it, but you can have it. It's a good thing to have actually. So and this every case statement has a constant here remember it's not a variable you cannot use variable here it has to be a constant what type of constant it will depend upon what type of variable it is if it is an integer variable it this constant has to be an integer constant if it is a character variable this constant has to be character variable and it's very simple what it does is basically it takes the value of this variable and compares with each one of these constants here in your case statement okay if you have multiple case statements it will compare it with each one of those and whichever set it, it is equal to so you know whatever the value of this variable is equal to whichever constant here it basically suppose it is equal to this constant here it basically goes inside that whatever is after the constant you know, after this case statement it starts executing those statements until it hits break so at this point it will just keep on executing the, the statements until it hits break when it hits break it jumps out of the switch statement and it comes here and it starts executing from here very simple right so okay I forgot to start my timer let me start my timer okay so this is very very simple basically so let's take let's take up uh, some example here so suppose I have a variable called int x okay and then I do cer certain things, for, you know, for with x, like you know, maybe ask the user to enter the value of of x, enter a value, okay. 
and then scan F percent D comma M percent X so remember you know this will allow the user to enter a value if you haven't watched the previous tutorials especially the tutorial na uh, titled inputting you should watch that to understand these statements but this will allow you the user to enter a value that value will be stored in X so at this point here where the cursor is the value of X will be whatever the user entered and then we can write switch X so we are switching on X so case if the user entered 0 okay do printf you entered 0 okay so we print this way this uh, statement let me sorry let me move the uh, move the window and then break okay and then next statement case 1 okay if the user entered 1 okay you entered 1 so we print this that you entered 1 okay and then if the user entered 2 we print you entered 2 okay remember how I am writing break right after every case statement here and suppose and then after that you know I mean there are unlimited values that user could enter so what do we do if user did not enter 0 1 or 2 what do we do there that's where default comes in so you write default it's like a capture all it will capture all whatever whatever the user entered other than 0 1 and 2 so if the control comes here if the computer starts executing here that means that user did not print 0 did not press 0 did not pre press 1 did not press 2 so you did not enter 0 or 1 or 2 okay break and then we are done okay so nice little program let's let's delete this thing because this is not the valid C statements this is just for the syntax and let's uh, try it out there you go and so it has oops so enter value it has so I enter 1 it says you entered 1 right see because I entered sorry about that because I entered 1 so it comes here and it prints this statement you entered 1 so it's very simple uh, if I enter some other number other than 0 1 or 2 it's going to tell me it's going to tell me that I entered something other than 0 1 and 2 see why because it it checked to see if it is 0 no if it is 1 if it is 2 no then it came to default and then it basically says you entered 0 or 1 or 2 so we captured all the numbers other than 0 1 and 2 in here and we print this statement here so it's very simple so this wasn't this example wasn't too practical so we will continue this uh, tutorial in the next video where we will do something more more uh, you know more fun more practical with this thing okay uh, thanks for watching